In this lesson, we'll begin to create some basic teeth for our character. Now, we don't really need anything too complex in the way of teeth, I don't think, and so we're going to create something uh, pretty basic. If you want to go as far as creating individual teeth and maybe create the gums and the uh, the inside of the mouth, that's something that you can certainly do. But I think with the style of character that we have, uh, creating something a little bit simpler, maybe will uh, it'll certainly be easier and it'll maybe match a little bit better. So uh, I'm going to start by just creating a polygon primitive. And let's go ahead and create a pipe. So go ahead and drop the pipe in. And if we've got our isolate select on, we need to go in and add selected objects so that we can see it. Let's go into the creation node for our pipe. And let's go ahead and start to play with some of these settings. So the height can go ahead and take down a little bit. Let's also kind of take that radius down until it's kind of right inside the mouth. It can kind of move it down uh, in there. So go ahead and take this radius down a little bit more. Okay. So my radius is about 0.4. Yours may be different. Okay. Let's go ahead and also change the thickness so that it is about as kind of thick as we want the teeth to be. So maybe 0.03 or so, maybe 0.02, something like that. All right, so we can go ahead and change the height to something more like that, so we don't really need it to be quite that tall. And now I want to change the number of divisions so that each division basically represents a tooth. So right now we have 20. Let's go ahead and change that to maybe 24 and see what that looks like. So that gives us maybe 3 or 4. Let's go ahead and up that to maybe 28. So that gives us a few more. And I don't really want to create a bunch of teeth. I just want to have a few. So I think that's going to work fine for us. And so what I want to do now is to go ahead and just start to delete some of the faces that we don't need. So we don't need anything at the back, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get rid of those. And go ahead and, and uh, delete those faces. Uh, let's also go ahead and delete the faces at the top. Okay, these are going to be our upper teeth. Okay, and let me just move these down below so we can take a look at this. All right, and one thing that we might want to do would be to take the edges uh, here and just kind of thin that out by moving it out and also maybe scaling it just a little bit. Okay, and then let's also move it up a little. So we're going to put something like that. Okay, now I want to create the divisions in these teeth, and there are a few different ways that we can go about this. We could add edge loops on either side of these teeth or we could extrude out the uh, geometry. So let's try extruding. So what I want to do is select basically every other row or every other loop here. Okay, so just by dragging through, so that means I'm selecting uh, the bottom as well. Okay, so we end up with something that looks like that. Now let's go ahead and go to extrude. Okay, and I want to just pull this out in the Z. And so we're pulling it out on both sides and it's also being pulled out on the bottom. We can kind of see that. Okay. Okay. And we can also, if we want to go to a world axis, we can kind of pull that down a little bit. Okay. And then we want to repeat that process on the other sections that we missed. And the reason we separate these out is because we want to treat these all individually but if we just select everything it won't know what exactly uh, to modify as a group so let's go ahead now and do the same thing here and we just want to pull out the same thickness okay and then go ahead and pull it down the same value there okay let's now go ahead and just select the faces on the top the new faces that we've created on the top and we can go ahead and delete those now, once we uh, take this piece in, we'll just hit 3 on our keyboard. And let's go ahead and turn off our wireframe on shaded. You can see that we can start to get some teeth there. And if you want to add 
a little bit of shape to that, we could insert another edge loop right in here and just pull this out a little bit and create a little bit of shape there. And that gives us some very distinct divisions between our teeth and but we're still using just one piece of geometry so that's one way to create some very simple teeth uh, that we can use so let's go ahead and bring these up into our into our face and we'll smooth this so we can see this a little bit better and go ahead and kind of put these into position keeping them in the at the center so maybe something like that and we can maybe move it forward a bit okay and looking at this we want to make sure that our lip kind of extends up and over the teeth even though we're not really going to see in there I'm going to go ahead and take this geometry and make sure that it's at least close uh, up at the top here and if you wanted to like I said come in and make some gums of course that would be more realistic but uh, that is up to you okay get that point there and so we'll just kind of bring this up over the teeth there. Alright, so now we want to create the bottom teeth. All we need to do is uh, we'll just go ahead and delete the history. Let me go ahead and duplicate this. And let's go ahead and rotate that 180 degrees in the Z. Let's scale it down just a little bit and move it down into the mouth there. Maybe back a little bit. That'll give us something like that. And then we can do the same thing with our mouth here, and that is to come in and just kind of extend that lip down to the closer to the base of the tooth so it's not just penetrating in with the middle of the tooth there. Okay, and you can see how it's kind of penetrating in here. So we might want to come in and kind of move some of this geometry out of the way so we get a little bit more in the way of teeth here even though we're really not going to see inside here too much okay so maybe something like that so we've got upper and lower teeth there so now that we've got our teeth the next thing that we need to add is going to be the tongue so it's going to be necessary for some of the shapes that we want to make especially when we're working with phonemes and uh, building those in it's going to be uh, helpful to us. So let's go ahead and build that in uh, in the next lesson.